Good morning, class. Good morning, ma'am. How are you all? Fine, ma'am. Uh, today we are going to take up the lesson Kalinga, the turning point. So all of you can take out page number one sixty four. As you all can see, this is the lesson, Kalinga, the turning point, and we are going to study this with the help of Oxford Educate. Okay, children, I'm going to use the pencil highlighter to highlight the heading, Kalinga, the turning point. What do you understand by the word renounce? Yes, Dakshi. It means to give up a title or a position. Excellent. So children, do you want to look up this word in the dictionary? Yes, ma'am. Let's use the Oxford Educate Dictionary here to access the word renounce. And here is the meaning, to state officially that you are no longer going to keep a title or a position. Children, do you know who Ashoka was? Anybody can say who Ashoka was? Ashoka was a great Mauryan emperor of the 3rd century. Okay. Today I'll show you a PPT and we can directly access the PPT from Oxford Educate itself. This shows the Mauryan emperor under Ashoka and he ruled from the period 269 to 232 BC. Children, please close your books and let's listen to the audio rendering of the first paragraph. By the time Ashok became king, he was in his early thirties and experienced in both war and peace. In the eighth year of his reign, Ashok decided to invade the kingdom of Kaling, which was just south of Magadha. Around 262 BCE, the Mauryan army invaded Kaling and, to their surprise, they faced a tough challenge. In spite of facing the huge Mauryan forces, the Kaling army fought with fierce courage and refused to surrender. At the end, both sides had lost thousands of soldiers, horses and elephants in a horrific battle. Ashok had won not because the enemy had surrendered, but because there were no more men left to fight. The victorious king stood in the middle of the terrible carnage he had wrought in a battlefield filled with the dead and dying and took a close look at what he had achieved. Can you guess what the lesson is all about after listening to the first paragraph? Yes, Rupanshi? The lesson is about the great emperor Ashoka and the war of Kalinga. That was a lovely answer. Okay, uh, do you think Ashoka will be full of remorse after witnessing such uh, death and destruction? Yes, yes Samarth? Ashoka would be full of remorse after facing such destruction because he lost thousands of soldiers in this war and maybe a thought would have revived in his brain that all this bl bloodshed and destruction was caused because of his attempt to capture Kalinga. Okay, that's a good answer. Good. This paragraph which you just listened to is the topic paragraph of the story and this is going to take us further to what the story is all about. Now we are going to use is the sticky note. So this paragraph describes the consequences of the war that was fought when Ashoka decided to invade the kingdom of Kalinga. Now children, after this we are going to listen to the pronunciation of difficult words in this page. Please repeat the words for pronunciation practice. Shahbaz Gani. Takshila. This paragraph describes the consequences of the war that was fought when Ashoka decided to invade Kalinga. 
So children, tomorrow we'll continue with the remaining lesson and of course use Oxford Educate to make the class more joyful and interesting. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Oxford Educate is an innovative digital resource that provides teachers with an e-book integrated with learning materials and interactive tools. Oxford University Press India is delighted to announce that Oxford Educate has won the prestigious India Didactics Association Award for excellence in the digital content and software and education category at the International Didact India Exhibition and conference. The resource includes animations of poems, including embedded animations of images from the texts. Imagine that I'm traveling through far off foreign lands, mother, with you. You're riding on a palanquin with doors ajar to peep between, and I on a great chestnut horse that canters by your side. Its hooves set up a swirling cloud of red dust as I ride. Audio input for poems, prose extracts, listening exercises and pronunciation. I come from haunts of Coot and Hearn. I make a sudden sally and sparkle out among the fern to bicker down a valley. By thirty hills I hurry down or slip between the ridges Slide shows for dynamic explanation of key topics. Worksheets as printable classroom assignments. Reference sections containing images, additional information and video links that can be used for formative assessment. Interactive exercises based on the content from the text. Sample and format of assessment of speaking and listening. Oxford Educate also includes interactive tools such as Zoom, Spotlight, a highlighting pen and much more.